you guys, you know, beat number nine, Colorado Mines today. What can you say just about the team's uh, resolve and uh, you know, closing out a tough game like that? Uh, just a wonderful program win for our whole program. Everybody, we had all sorts of players step up. You know, we, we talk about everybody in our program being as valuable as anybody, um, no matter if you're playing 40 minutes or if you're, if you're not playing at all. And we had two young men in, in Kevin Floor and Ryan Book step in and hit huge threes for us. Um, it took our whole program to win the game. Colorado Mines is a great, great team. They're a first-class program, and we're just we're very proud of our team. Came to Monster Three there for you late in the game, uh, checking in fresh off the bench. I guess just uh, walk us through uh, you know coming off the bench and uh, getting into a moment like that. Well, it starts with the confidence of the team, and if if I'm in a little drought, I'm, I've missed two in a row. Uh, I, I know my teammates want me to shoot the next one, and they're gonna get, find me the ball, and and I think Will did, and just shot it. And, Went in, so happy to see you going. You too. <laughs> Chief, you checked out the game for a little bit. I think you guys went down by five points or so. You get right back in there, go on an 8-0 run, and uh, you know, go up. Uh, what was just your mentality in a tight game like that going down the stretch? Uh, well, we gave them their run, and then we just wanted to make one last run, of them, and it would be our run to finish the game. And that's what we did. I'm proud of our guys for doing that. A couple of monster buckets, uh, a few little hooks there, and just uh, you know finishing at the rim. I guess did you take it upon yourself just to close that one out? Uh, you know I wouldn't take it upon myself, but I mean I give Will and these guys credit for getting me, getting me the ball in good spots where I could score. What can you say about the matchup uh, that you had against uh, their post players today, just overall? Um, they're more uh, shooting posts, so <clears throat> I mean it brought me out of the paint a little bit, but I mean I can't complain with one. Yeah. Yeah. They only give you credit for the one block shot today, but uh, it was a really big one and ended up setting up a cluster three down there, I guess. So what can you say just about finishing it out on both ends of the floor and the whole team kind of closing it out? Uh, yeah, Kate's three was big. Um, I mean, he's got no conscience. I mean, he airballs one and then he comes down and he splashes the next one. I mean, we all have confidence and we all have confidence in every single one of our guys. Coach, uh, another big game for Raz, too. Uh, I know he ended up getting a rebound when the game was tied on one of Will's missed threes and puts it back. You know, for a freshman stepping in the way he has, I guess what can you kind of just say about his all-around effort? Raz has been huge for us all year long, and he's playing major minutes as a freshman, and that's not easy. Uh, no matter how talented you are, it's very hard to play that way. And His rebound and put back just goes to show you that every play matters. There were so many plays throughout the game uh, that were enormous. Uh, it was a signature win that we needed. Uh, Jared, you've had the toughest assignment on the team, uh, arguably all season. Uh, you know, guarding the other team's you know best perimeter player. Uh, you know, what's it like for you transitioning in from you know playing such focused defense and uh, you know hitting a, a couple of those big shots there on offense? Um, just kind of through practice and through these last couple games, kind of struggled a little bit. But these guys haven't lost confidence in me. They just keep coming up to me and telling me to keep shooting. And I'm glad today that in this big of a game that it started to fall and confident enough to keep shooting. So. I'm glad these guys were willing to give me the ball, and I'm glad I was willing to make it worth it. So, You were playing with a ton of energy right away in the first half, uh, you know, crashing through the chairs and everything. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, what can you kind of just say about uh, what you wanted to bring to the game right away? Just that intensity. I mean, last week we didn't come out on a Saturday, and that's just not who we are. We are a much better team than that, and I think everybody on the team knew that we needed to come out with that energy, and I kind of just wanted to help set the tone for our team and let them know and let Lions know that we're going to come out and make this a game and then make this our game. We've been begging Jared to block out for four years, so we started blocking out some chairs. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Hoffman's been talking a lot about the defensive effort and it not really being there for 40 minutes. Uh, even though, you know, they were able to score their points tonight, uh, you really feel like the defensive effort was there for the 40 minutes? Tonight? Yeah, you know, we talked, like we talked about last night, just the energy and enthusiasm. Mines is a great team, and they made so many great shots, and they have great players, all league players, and uh, we kept our energy level up even when they made shots, and it's easy to get deflated when teams make tough shots, and they made some tough shots uh, to their credit, but we kept our energy, and that was the difference. I know you mentioned uh, Brooks and Floor hitting their shots. Another guy, Austin Halverson, in the starting lineup, no points, but it made a huge impact on the game. What's it just do for the guys confidence-wise when, you know, even the, the role players like that can get into a big game and have big moments like that? Well, I think it's huge for our whole team. Um, we're such a close-knit group. Everybody's truly pulling for each other, and that's what's special about team sports. <clears throat> and uh, Tonight, when you have guys stepping up, 
that don't always get opportunities or the opportunities don't present themselves and they make the plays to help you win. It's just such a great, you know, it's a great feeling. And that's why we're all involved in team sports for feelings like this. Chief, can you compare the feeling tonight uh, versus seven days ago at this time? Uh, completely 180 right now. I mean, I would say we went from one of the worst games that we've ever played here to turning around and taking two big steps forward. And I mean, one thing that we do need to do is keep taking the steps forward. So, I mean, it's the bright side of this. Coach, do you think it's just kind of symbolic, too, of, you know, the whole grind of the RMAC schedule and you're just <clears> going to have, uh, you know, maybe a, a game like you had last Saturday, but you can always, you know, bounce back with a, a big one like tonight? Well, we don't ever want to have a game like last Saturday. <laughs> and that's, that's not it. But, you know, this league is long and it is a grind and we have to just stay focused week to week. It's a it's a week to week league. You never know what you're going to get. And if you just keep working hard and you deserve success, uh, then it will come your way. Perfect.